what's up, Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play classic Nintendo 64 games on your iOS 9 iPhone, iPod, or iPad. This tutorial requires a jailbreak, so if you're not jailbroken, you can learn how to jailbreak your iOS device by following the tutorial linked in the description below. With that being said, if you're excited to learn how to play N64 games on your iOS device, please hit that like button as I tried my best to make this tutorial clear and easy to follow. With all that being said, I cannot wait to show you guys how to do this, so without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, getting Nintendo 64 games is very simple, and all you have to do is open Cydia, click on sources at the bottom left, and then hit edit and add. Once you have the source URL, you can go ahead and type in what I'm typing on the screen now, which is very simple. It's buildbot.libretro.com forward slash repo forward slash Cydia. Once you have that inputted correctly into the URL, you can go ahead and hit add source and it'll add the source to your source list. Once it's done, you can return to Cydia and click on the new source that we have here. Click on games, RetroArch iOS 9 and then hit install and confirm at the top right hand corner. This will install the RetroArch emulator that allows us to play Nintendo 64 games and more. Once you have RetroArch installed, there's one more thing that we need to get on Cydia. And you can do that by hitting the search and searching F-I-L-Z-A, which is the FileZa file manager. Once you click on that, go ahead and install it just like we did with RetroArch. And when it's done, you'll now have RetroArch and FileZa on your home screen. Once we have these two things, we can go into learning how to get games for the RetroArch emulator. To do so, open Safari and type in the URL doperoms.com. This will be the website we'll be using to get Nintendo 64 games. Now, I'm going to be searching for Pokemon Stadium. However, you can search for one of your favorite Nintendo 64 games. And once you search, it'll give you a multitude of search results. And you just have to click on the one that you would like. Then scroll down and hit download ROM. And then you're going to have to scroll down one more time and hit download ROM again. And your download will begin. Once you hit download ROM, it'll look like nothing's happening, but trust me, your download has started and it shouldn't take more than 5 minutes because once it's done, you'll have a screen like this. From this screen, normally you would open in and then hit copy to RetroArch. However, for some reason there's a bug in RetroArch where when you try to open in RetroArch, it automatically crashes the application. So we're going to work around this by opening in FileZa. So go ahead and hit open in, copy to FileZa, and you'll now have your zip file in files. Now what I like to do is create a Nintendo 64 folder in our var mobile documents and put the .n64 file into that folder. So the first thing you want to do is click on the zip file you just downloaded. Then you want to click edit at the top right, select the game and then hit move at the bottom. Then you want to make the N64 folder by hitting edit at the top right, the plus sign at the top left and naming your folder. Once you have that you'll have your folder. Click on the folder then you're going to click on the clipboard at the bottom left and hit move so that you can move your .n64 file into this n64 folder that we have just so that we can stay organized. Once you've done this, you can delete any other files that you've downloaded. Once that's done, you can head to RetroArch and what we want to do before starting up the game is click on online updater, core updater, and you want to find the Nintendo 64 Mupin 64 core as you can see here. Click on that and it'll begin to download that core. And once it's done, it'll say download complete. Then we can hit update core into files. And finally, click on update overlays and you'll know it's done at the bottom when it says download progress complete. So once that's done, we'll now have the Nintendo 64 core and the overlay that we need. However, we need to make sure that we have this overlay. So what you want to do is hit switch at the top right hand corner. And once you hit switch, you'll have a screen like so. However, you won't have the Nintendo 64 overlay. So you'll have to do this by touching the screen. What you want to do is touch the bottom right hand corner of the screen, which will take you to another settings, the settings tab, just like so. Then you want to click on on screen overlay by scrolling down. And then once you're on on screen overlay, you want to go to the overlay preset. And once you're on overlay preset, you want to click on game pads 
And then once you click on game pads, you want to click on N64, which is the overlay that you'll need and is the overlay that I'm using now. Because with this overlay, you'll be able to play Nintendo 64 games as it has all the controls that you'll need to play your favorite Nintendo 64 games. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and just hit B all the way back to the load content. Then you're going to hit load content and file, click var mobile document, click on your N64 folder, and then click on your .N64 file that you downloaded from doproms.com. And just like that, you'll now be playing your Nintendo 64 games on your iOS device. Now, if you're playing portrait, I recommend that you click the little um, return button at the top left so that the buttons are all on the bottom. But if you're playing landscape, don't click that as it's set to be perfect just as I have it here so that you can play your favorite Nintendo 64 games. And just like any emulator, you can do save states and whatnot by clicking on the RetroArch button at the middle of the screen. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy playing Nintendo 64 games on your jailbroken iOS 9 device. And if you found this tutorial helpful, then be sure to click that like button as it helps out the tutorial tremendously. And if you're new, make sure to click that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video because I upload awesome tutorials like this one every week. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.